So this train is rolling. I'm gonna give you a garden update. Just tilled up the garden to uh, keep some control onto the grass. You've got to maintain before it takes over. So in this row right here, we got a variety of squash. Some of them came up, some of them has not. The soil is starting to warm up. We have cat skull, broccoli, then cucumbers at the trellis. Nothing at the other end yet. The pepper's probably gonna go there. These are pink eye purple hauls. So far they're doing really well. I have uh, marigolds planted surrounding the garden, different areas. It's a good uh, pest preventative. Here is my two rows, rows of tomatoes. I did a video on how I plant tomatoes. So you see how well they're doing. They're getting blooms on them now. Starting to get some blooms. It won't be long. It'll be time to trellis them up. They're looking wonderful. Here is some yellow wax beans. Since we started getting some warmer temperature and the soil is warming up, they're starting to take off. Here is my brassicas. I believe it's broccoli, cauliflower, uh, um, Broccoli, cauliflower, I forget what I plant. I have little tags up under the plants, which you can't see them now. And uh, rutabagas. And I forgot those names again. I love those plants right there. I think it's charred. Kale. And then we got some uh, turnips there. Now here is the garden peas full of blooms looking absolutely wonderful i'm excited about that i get excited when i start seeing them trellis once they ever reach the trellis they start taking off so i did a video also on how to plant garden peas there's a sunflower a good pest you know it kind of draws the pests so if you have like like stink bugs and just a variety of pests it'll attract them Here's a variety of my potatoes here. These are um, blue, some people call them blue. Um, I call them blue, some people call them purple. Potatoes, red New Orleans. And that looks like a purple top there, it came up. And then we got the russet Burbank. And then this is the bacon potatoes. They look super wonderful this year. They're actually at the same stage now as the uh, red potatoes here in this row. And then we have the Yukon Gold. Yukon Gold and the red potatoes is my favorite. U Yukon Gold is my favorite potatoes. So I just want to get you a quick update for those that's been following me on how well the garden is doing. I did a video on how to plant potatoes, so we see how wonderful they looking. They're starting to fall over some. I've already got the grass out in the middle so that, um, and I had to do that by hand because there's not enough room now. They've gotten so big. But I did a video on how to plant potatoes. As you can tell, they're doing absolutely wonderful. I did see one bloom on the potatoes. It was planted February the 14th. Today is April the 13th. And then I did, like I said, plant marigolds. They're blooming out. This row right here has nothing planted in it yet. That'll be probably some okra. Either it be a row of okra or and uh, a variety of peppers. So this train is rolling. Over there is sweet potatoes. There's the cucumbers that's coming up. I'm loving to see new growth on these pink eye purple hulls here. The corn. 
And then I haven't finished planting the sweet potatoes yet. I'm letting my slips grow a little bit more. I did a video on how to plant sweet potato slips. I have a video also how to grow sweet potato slips. So thank you for watching. I got marigolds also planted along the fence and you'll see where I throw my scraps out here. And this is just um, paper that came out of the compost. It didn't compost, so I just kind of laid it down there for now. And then the composter was right there. I moved it because I'm working on a chicken coop. I'm building another one and putting up fence, bigger area for my chickens. So I got two coop, I'll have two coops. Got to finish the coop. It's a working process. So I had to move the composter and it's sitting over there. And it did, I didn't do anything to that composter. I just kept throwing uh, the things out of the garden in there. I didn't turn it, I didn't do anything. It did sit there for a year and I got a lot of compost. And uh, yeah, I threw it into these rows right here. So it covered up one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows. I was able to put it in, in between the rows. Um, that's what I decided to use it for because I didn't really, I was just busy uh, working onto the fence of the chicken coop. So guys, thank you so much. This train is rolling now. We're gonna have some warmer temperatures. The soil is definitely warming up. And I imagine by next week, this, this train right here will be on this way of its destination of a harvest. See you on to the next video.